Let's be real. It's fun to get dressed up and all, but sometimes I just want to be comfy. Leggings, sweatpants, and the works. I'm not a big fan of athleisure typically on me, so lately I've been trying to find a blend of athleisure with my favorite aesthetics that suits me better than typical athleisure. So here are the aesthetic outfits I've come up with using athleisure items like leggings, sweatpants, etc. And I really hope you like these outfits, and if you do, consider subscribing because I do tons of fashion and aesthetic content. Like this video, comment down below what outfits you liked and how you like to bring comfy and coziness into your wardrobe and give me a follow on Instagram at the address to leave and on TikTok at dress to leave and let's get started. So for this first outfit, I'm wearing this black athleisure tennis dress from Holara. And thank you so much to Holara for sponsoring this video and gifting me this dress as well as two other items that you will see in the next couple of outfits. Holara, meaning take it easy in Greek, is a very trendy athleisure brand with a lot of cute yet comfortable and practical items that are perfect for athletic wear as well as some everyday outfits. So if you like the items that I'm wearing from Holara in this video, then definitely check them out at theholara.com and use my code Mariel20 for 20% off your purchase. This dress in particular is super comfortable. It's a very stretchy material made of polyester and elastane, and it's two-in-one with built-in shorts and a pocket for your phone. And it also has built-in bra padding, which is also removable if you don't want that padding. It's super easy to throw on for an easy, casual, everyday look, for running errands, and of course for athletic activities such as going hiking, playing tennis, doing yoga, etc. For this outfit, to make it a kind of witch core, 90s witch vibe, I threw on this purple striped cardigan that has a couple ties in the front and paired it with my combat boots. For this next witch core outfit, I have on these black crossover leggings, also gifted from Halara. And I love this crossover style because it makes your waist look super snatched and it's just very flattering. And it's super stretchy and comfortable, also has pockets on the side. And it is pet hair resistant, which I tested with this little gremlin who often prevents me from wearing black clothing because his hair gets everywhere and it's white, so it's very visible on black colors. And as you can see, the hair is super easy to wipe off with just one little swipe on the leggings as opposed to my black turtleneck where it's very hard to get the hair off. So I paired the leggings with this black graphic crop top and my platform combat boots again. And then I threw on this oversized black hoodie with this bleached Luna moth design that I actually did myself in my DIY fairy core fairy grunge video. So check that out if you want some DIY inspo. But otherwise this is a pretty good outfit if you just want an edgier, dark, all black outfit. Okay, so this outfit is perfect if you're more into that romantic cottage core vibe. I have on this crossover tennis skirt, and again, this is gifted from Halara, and it's in this really pretty plum burgundy color, and I've been really loving this color lately, and I think it's super pretty and romantic. Like the Halara dress, it's also two-in-one with built-in shorts and very spacious pocket that fits even my iPhone Max. And like the crossover leggings, this crossover style makes your waist look so snatched and I love it. It's more modest in the back because it's longer. And the material is sweat wicking, lightweight and breathable. So even outside of these everyday outfits, I'd wear it going hiking or to yoga or to my dance classes because um, they're just perfect for athletic activities. I paired the skirt with this plain black crop top and over that threw on this puff sleeve ribbed cardigan, which is also super romantic and goes perfectly with this vibe and then I threw on this white headscarf to match with the white and to give more of that cottage core feel to it and then I just paired it with these white and beige sneakers For another casual athleisure cottage core outfit, I wore the same puff sleeve cardigan, but this time I paired it with these beige 
sweatpants. The material of these sweatpants feels super nice and breathable and flowy, so I really like it. And then I paired it with these beige sneakers, and I also put my hair in little pigtails, or if your hair is longer, some braids. Just a bit more of that cottagecore vibe, because I feel like doing your hair and accessorizing really does make a difference, even though I don't always practice what I preach because I always forget or get lazy to accessorize, but I feel like it really does make a difference in making an outfit look more like a certain aesthetic. So for my first dark fairy core slash fairy grunge outfit, I have on my black everyday Halara dress again. And this time I threw on this Patrick sweater over it and paired it with my beige sneakers and my leg warmers. Again, the dress is super comfy and then just throwing on a sweater over it, it's still pretty comfy and just a little warmer look. But the earthy tones of this sweater and the leg warmers give it more of that fairy core vibe this time around. For my second dark fairy core slash fairy grunge look, I have on the black Kalara dress yet again because it's just so versatile and kind of goes with a lot of outfits. So this time I threw on this striped shirt over it because I feel like this very 2010s look kind of fits that dark fairy core fairy grunge vibe, especially with like the twilight core twilight inspired vibe. But I also think a graphic t-shirt thrown over the dress would work just as well. I also have on some arm warmers peeking out of this oversized black hoodie for that grungy vibe, I guess. And then I paired it with my platform combat boots again. So for the Y2K outfit, this is one of my favorite outfits in general right now. I have on the black Halara dress again, and this time I just threw on this loose flowy poncho over it. So this outfit is super comfy up here. And then I have all these platform boots that I've been wearing everywhere and they are also pretty comfy though it doesn't look like it because the heel is so high but it's actually pretty decent to walk around in. So this outfit is super flowy and comfortable yet it's still really cute and I just feel like this is the epitome of athleisure disguised as aesthetic outfits. Okay, so for this dark academia outfit, I have on these black sweatpants and I have this silky, very luxurious feeling button down shirt which I half buttoned and half tucked in for kind of a looser casual look. And I paired it with these white sneakers and I feel like the silhouette of the outfit makes the biggest difference here. So I went for like a sleeker silhouette of a white sneaker and I feel like the sweatpants also have like a tapered sleeker look to them and I just think that makes a big difference in making it look more polished and more of that academia vibe. Um, rather than just like a messy sweatpants athleisure look. So another way I'm styling this burgundy tennis skirt is for a dark academia outfit. I think gem tones like burgundy plum fit dark academia really well, so this time I just paired it with a stretchy black turtleneck which is also pretty comfortable and then I threw on some Mary Jane shoes for that dark academia vibe. So it's a really simple outfit but still pretty comfortable and breathable. Next I styled these crossover leggings again for a dark academia outfit. So I paired it with this white cropped cardigan and then some sleek white sneakers again. And then I also threw on a coat which I feel like fits that dark academia vibe. But I feel like this outfit overall gives off like an urban, on the go, running errands kind of look to me. So I feel like it's a very casual, academia, loosely inspired outfit. And I feel like this is just a very practical everyday look. Thank you so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you like these outfits because it is really important to be comfortable as well as fashionable. If you did like this video, again, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at the Dress Relief and on TikTok at Dress Relief and I will see you guys next time.